Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please take a moment to silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our gathering hymn is in the Catholic Book of Worship, Blessed Are the Pure of Heart, number 471, number 471. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts, to forgive us for the times we have failed to love one another as we should. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by preparing this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The parents have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, says the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Know that all, lives are mine, all lives are mine. The life of the parent as well as the life of the child is mine, 
It is only the person who sins that shall die. If a man is righteous and does what is lawful and right, if he, eat, if he does not eat upon the mountains or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile his neighbor's wife, does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debtor his pledge, commits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry, and covers the naked with a garment, does not withhold his hand from iniquity, execute true justice between contending parties, follows my statutes, and is careful to observe my ordinances, acting faithfully, such a one is righteous. He shall surely live, says the Lord God. If he has a son who is violent, a shredder of blood, shall he then live? He shall not. He has done all these things abominably. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon himself. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, all of you according to your ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, otherwise iniquity will be your ruin. Cast away from all the transgressions that you have committed against me and get yourself a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, says the Lord God. Turn then and live. The word of the Lord. The response to Psalm 51 is, Create in me, create in me a clean heart, O God. Sinners 
tears will return to you. Create in me, create in me. From the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Little children were being brought to Jesus in order that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples spoke sternly to those who brought them, but Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. And Jesus laid his hands on the children and went on his way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading reminds me of baptism of children. Most of us here this morning are here this morning because our parents brought us to Jesus on the day of our baptism. When parents bring their children for baptism, they are doing what the parents in this morning's Gospel reading were practically doing. They are bringing their children to Jesus. Parents always want what is best for their children, and recognizing Jesus as a man of God, they want them to open their children up to God who was at work through Jesus. When children are baptized, the Lord is welcoming them into his family, the community of believers we call the church. They are being greatly blessed and graced by the Lord. The disciples, of course, were turning them away, and maybe because they thought that Jesus had only time for adults. Children at the time of Jesus had no rights or status, and were not, they were kind of seen and not heard. However, the apostles completely misread Jesus, who replied to them, Let the children come to me. Do not stop them coming to me, for it is to such as these as the, children, as the kingdom of heaven belongs. Children's instinctive openness and trusting nature models for us how we are to relate to God. It is to those with an open heart and a trusting spirit that will be able to receive the gift of the kingdom from God. Jesus wanted children to be central to the life of the community of the church. He was gathering around himself. He would want them to be central to the life and worship of the church to come. They have the same right to receive the gift of the kingdom of God as adults. Jesus said that the least are the greatest in the kingdom of God. Jesus wanted the children to be blessed by God who was working through him the risen Lord wants us to open up all the riches of the gospel to children. Unlike the disciples in the gospel, Jesus wants us, his disciples today, to bring the children to himself for prayer and worship, that be it that parents or grandparents, whoever brings the children to church. He wants us to help children to come to know him as a friend so that they can draw strength from his loving presence to them all through their lives. We are all called to be channels of the Lord's blessing to our children. Our prayers of intercession today. For Holy Father, Pope Francis and Peter, our bishop, and all those who lead and guide our church in the world, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our catechists in our parishes who help to guide our children through the sacramental preparation. We pray to the Lord. 
be praying thanksgiving to God for all parents and, and, and grandparents who bring their children for sacraments and for, for teaching in the church. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for peace in our world, especially in the Middle East, and especially in Holy Land, in Israel and Gaza, Ukraine, Haiti, Sudan, and all areas of conflict, we pray to the Lord. For the healing power of the Holy Spirit on all the sick, for Sister Connie Power, Christopher Anthony, Anne Lilly, Yvonne Steiner, and Sister Roisin Gannon, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are have died, and we pray in our intentions today for Patrick Dempsey, Helen Fowler, Tom Brewer, and Sister Margaret McLaughlin, presentation, who died last night. We pray for all those who have died, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the prayers in the quiet of your hearts, your own intention for this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. And we make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. of this water and wine when we come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray, O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest a resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another now the peace of Christ.
and behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to be under the roof, but only say the word and I say the trouble. Our communion hymn is in Celebrate in Song, number 6.1, Bread for the World, number 6.1. for the world. 
Our Mass this morning is also offered for the repositive soul of Adrian Dumino. Please stand for our final prayer. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 644. O oh God, our help in ages past, number 644. Thank you. 